With the Jets playing the Patriots in a big Week 3 AFC East matchup, New York Post Sports columnist Steve Serby caught up with former New England wide receiver Julian Edelman. And on another edition of Sundays with Serby, we're going to catch up with the great Mr. Serby himself, who joins me now. Steve, how are you doing this weekend? Doing well. And, of course, Julian Edelman is now part of the Fox Sports Analyst team, uh, NFL kickoff. Yes. So make sure you tune in if you haven't. Yes, if you haven't checked that out, he is part of the team giving his analysis there. And he was kind enough to give Steve some analysis and some of his time as the two caught up. And Steve, from your Q&A, I learned, I didn't know this, before the NFL season started, Edelman picked the Jets to finish last in the AFC East this season. Why does he not believe in the Jets? And what does he think of this division? Well, you know, Edelman is not a psychic, but... He uh, he knows, as every long-suffering Jets fan knows, that something always bad goes wrong with the Jets. And so this was even before Rodgers got hurt. Um, but he also pointed out that uh, he heard all the Super Bowl talk coming out of Florham Park from the Jets. And that's obviously not the way they do things or did things in New England under Belichick. So his view is that Complacency can kick in if you have a team that believes it is better than it really is. It's great to believe, but if you believe you're something you're not, that's another story. The AFC East, he thinks, is a very tough division. Matter of fact, he thinks it's going to be hard for the Patriots to make the playoffs. And if they start 0-3, if they lose today to the Jets, you know, only six teams since 1979 have started 0-3 and made the playoffs, and the last one was the 2018 Texans. So, huge game, and the Jets, of course, needed two because they've got Mr. Patrick Mahomes coming up the following week, then a trip to Denver, the uh, the Hackett Bowl, and then, um, then the Eagles come in. So, it's not out of the question if the Jets lose this game that you could be looking at a one and five start under Zach Wilson. And that would not make Jets fans happy, although I'm sure they're not happy that before, and before you get to the next finish last. Yes, before go you ahead, get to the next, let me interrupt if you don't mind. Sure. I have a question for you. OK. Do you think Julian Edelman is a Hall of Famer? Hmm. No, and I've looked at his numbers, you know, over, you know, 600 catches, just under 7,000 receiving yards, 36 touchdowns in his career. No, I, I, th I don't think I've looked at him as one of the best receivers in the game and as ever a really good slot receiver, probably the best at that position. But no, I'm going to go. I know he's three-time Super Bowl champ. I get all that. No, not a Hall of Famer in my eyes. I say no. Three-time Super Bowl champ made that unbelievable catch against the Falcons during yeah. that 28-3 comeback. Uh, I'm torn on that one, too. I'm going to have to study some more tape. He may be similar to Don Mattingly, a guy that's right on mm. the cusp, but maybe maybe doesn't have enough. But again, I'm not going to rule it out. This guy saved his best for the biggest games. Don't forget that. Yeah. There's no, no, there's no doubt about that. You're right about that. And I think he's somebody that's right on the cusp. I lean a little bit towards no on this one. But I think he's, he's borderline. He's in a discussion, at least, to have about it. All right, Steve. Yeah. That was good. Good question for you. Appreciate that. Good question. Uh, another two-part question here for me, Steve. Edelman's former team, okay, you, they've beaten the Jets 14 times in a row. Still can't believe that number. 14 times in a row. Does he believe there's a psychological hurdle that the Jets need to overcome here. And speaking of psychological hurdles, does he also believe that Aaron Rodgers could return from his Achilles tear and be effective for this team next season? Yeah, 14 in a row is hard to believe. And that's, you know, as much as Robert Sala and the Jets keep talking about the past is the past, we're just worried about now. There's no question. They, they've been answering questions all week about 14 straight losses to the Patriots. So... It's got to be in their heads. The question is, can they do something about it? Garrett Wilson was on radio this week talking about how unacceptable, how unbelievable 14 straight losses to one team is. I mean, Dex, can you imagine 14 straight times losing in the ratings war? Can you imagine that? I, I can't imagine it ever happening to you. No, I know, nothing. I know nothing about that life. Not at all. No. 
No, that's that, that's not your world at all. <laughs> not my world at all. <laughs> uh, by the same token, though, um, th he pointed out that the Jets have a, n a number of young and naive players on that roster who really don't care or maybe even are oblivious to 14 in a row or as oblivious as you possibly can be. So it's a double-edged sword. But look, the bottom line is 14 in a row cannot become 15 in a row or the spiral downward that Robert Sala is worried about could begin. Yeah, 50 in a row. If that number is being said later today, that'll be something that Jets fans will not be happy about at all. But Jets fans, if you want to be happy, you want to hear some insight from Julian Edelman, check out Steve Serby's Q&A this week with the former New England Patriots. Did you want to ask me about Aaron Rodgers? I did. I, I did. You, you kind of sidestepped that. But what did, he, what, did he, what did he think about Aaron Rodgers in terms of can he come back from this injury? Does he believe that's possible? Well, he believes it is, yeah. It's a grueling recovery, especially for a guy that turns 40 in December. But he believes, Edelman believes, Rodgers will adjust his game. And his point was 70% of Aaron Rodgers is better than 90% of quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, but the Jets are going to have to build a wall in front of him. Now, Dwayne Brown, the left tackle, won't be playing today. And he, he'll be 39 next year. So Mr. Joe Douglas has some work to do to reinforce that offensive line for Aaron Rodgers to come back and come back as Aaron Rodgers or close to Aaron Rodgers next season. Tough injury to come back from with the Achilles tear. We'll see how that all plays out. As I said, check out Steve Serby's Q&A this week with Julian Edelman, the former wide receiver for the New England Patriots, now with Fox Sports giving his analysis. Steve, another great Sundays with Serby. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, Dex. My pleasure. Always.